And now to a follow-up on last night's State of the Union, where the president talked about investing in green technology. Yeah, during a visit to Manitowoc this afternoon, he praised the companies making advances. Our Andy Choi shares some highlights of the president's trip tonight. Andy? Eric and Sarah, the, last night the president painted a picture of an epiphany he wants Americans to have, calling this time our Sputnik moment. He said the country must surpass the world in renewable and green energy. Manitowoc, ironically, was a fitting place to talk about the race ahead. It was right here, almost 50 years ago. I couldn't have made this up. It wasn't until I was on my way here that I found out that a chunk of metal came crashing down to the earth right here. I, I promise you, we did not plan this originally. As it turns out, that chunk of metal was a piece of Russian satellite from Sputnik. The starting line for America's sprint into space into the 50s. Today at Orion Energy, the president again urged manufacturers to look for ways to stay in the race. We've also got to make sure that the breakthroughs, the technological breakthroughs that come to define the 21st century, that they take root right here in America. We've got to lead the world in innovation. The president wants 80 percent of the country's electricity to come from clean energy sources by 2035. He went on to say that the green jobs being created at Orion inspired ingenuity and hard work and that lawmakers need to get behind companies like Orion. All right. The 19th Andy Choi reporting. Andy, thank you very much.